some new furniture so some has gone up in here and I'm in the middle of sorting it all and while I've been doing that I've ordered some more fabrics so I thought I'd show you the last fabric haul of 2023 I have gone through it already and checked to see if everything is all right and I've also got back issues at the moment. Oh. So I can't lift it out. <laughs> there we are. That's the fabric. And I shall bring you in a bit closer now so you'll be able to see it all better. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Hopefully you'll be able to see everything because as I said I've moved everything around apart from this big cutting desk. But it's a big pile and the sun is shining through. Right, first things first. Uh, I don't remember ordering this but I did and it's lovely upholstery green velvet and as when we decorate the living room that's going more or less exactly the same green I will do things with it I want to put nips up against the window but I thought clear nips um, Mason looks through sees a car going past someone walking and barks his head off so I've actually bought some chip on and see if I can make a curtain, a neck curtain out of that. A layering green to match the green that's going to be on the walls. <coughs> Sorry about that. This, it was selling off fairly cheap. It's 94 inches wide and I've got three meters of it and it's a sheeting fabric so it would be brilliant for the um, back of quilts. Oh I've got a cold as well. Um, mm. This is look better online shopping than it does in person but it's not bad but I can make something with it. Um, like I said before, chickens won't mind. And that's black with white bows. I liked it, but now I'm not sure. <laughs> this is some crepe back satin, a lovely summery pink. Not sure, but I liked it. This is some lining fabric. There's some stretch knit. I've had about three meters of this, and I possibly get a cardigan out of that. Oh, excuse me a moment. And where was I? This. I quite like that. It's flabs on back, and I think. I've had three metres of that. Where's my cape if it says? Yeah. Yes, the um, chiffon that I'm going to try next with, uh, I've had three metres of each. Three metres of each design. And they were only a pound a metre, so for six pound there, I'll probably get some for the kitchen as well. Because we do redo in the kitchen as well. Uh, 
this one it was selling this at a pound a meter so i've got three meters of that same with this where's pink satin fabric a pound a meter so i've got three for that um the bows on black fabric a pound a metre so I've got three for that uh, this black with yellow and red flowers on is was more expensive it's two pound seventy five a metre and I got two metres of that next is this plain blush suede fabric and I thought it would make because I've got this in green and I thought it would make some nice ski pants so that and um, that's pound fifty a metre I've had two metres this liquid satin is one pound fifty a metre, two metres. I've also had it in the antique gold. And then you can have it in a minute. Oh, oh yeah, the, this velvet fabric. I don't know why I ordered it. Because it is fairly expensive. It's £6.50 a metre. Hmm. But we'll see. I've bought some iron cleaner as well. Yes, there. Because there's stains on the, on the iron. So I thought I'll clean the iron. And a painted polycotton. bundle it's got three fabrics in there i'll just see what there is and where they go and where i can use them but that was fairly cheap they're a meter each and so it's three for five pounds which is not bad at all next i've had this cotton remnant pack um there's different sizes in there and I thought it might help me making scrappy quilts because that was only £7.50 for all that then we go on to this is warm and natural I normally use polyester batting for all my quilts but I thought I'll get some of the mainly cotton and it it doesn't have the same loft that the polyester does but I've got enough of it it'll do one of the quilts um, uh, I've got at the moment and I'm going to to make myself some more oven gloves so I've got some of the Insel Bright which will go brilliant in there and that's fairly cheap isn't it Lois? The Insel Bright oh, no. no it wasn't it was £6.50 a metre but that's quite good there is so it's not much but I want to be able to put these on the shelves and get to tidying some more of my room up. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. It's a perfect situation.